Hi, my name is Laura Regan and I'm the owner and indie dyer of Created For You by Laura. Hopefully you've been able to get into Rabbit and, Ro and Rocket and see our wonderful, creative, colorful yarns. If not, no worries. Hopefully once we're able to get out and about, you'll be able to stop in. In the meanwhile, if you want to check out her online shop, you can see our yarns there as well. I'm actually here to video a tutorial to make this cute rabbit. It's a crocheted rabbit. Used, we used, I used fingering yarn, fingering weight yarn on a size E hook. The rabbit is about, this is about 10 inches long and a couple inches wide here. Um, so it doesn't take a lot of yarn. A um, little shy of 200 yards fingering weight yarn. Um, so it's a great stash bus buster. So hit up your stash, see what you got, mix and match. Each piece is individual. The legs are individual, the arms, the head, the ears, the bonnet, and then the body actually um, joins onto the legs and the skirt joins onto the body. So you can mix and match. You can have the legs a color, the arms something different, the bonnet something different. So go wild. You know, figure out what kind of funky bunny you could make, or rabbit, I guess I should say. So if you don't have any fingering weight yarn, it's, you can also use DK or Worcester. So if you're using DK, I'd probably go up to an F hook. And if you're on Worcester, I would go up to a G. So um, go hit up your stash, see what you can find. You also are going to need some black thread. So I use thread for the eyes and the mouth. Um, you can use beads if you have beads for the eyes. Um, if you go to the craft store and they have um, eyes that maybe are for a doll. I went to the craft store and didn't like the eyes. So I stuck with the thread. I think it worked out just fine. Um, Chris hopefully gave you some directions. And um, grab yourself some stitch markers. It's great to mark the rounds with a stitch marker. And last but last not least, don't forget that polyfill, right? We need to make sure that we can stuff this little guy. He's got stuffing in the legs, stuffing in the body, and stuffing in the head. So you don't need a whole lot, but just enough to make him nice and squishy. So go hit up your stash, grab some of your supplies. I'm going to flip my camera around and we'll get back to start creating this little goober. See you soon.